Hi there, this is State Representative Keith Greiner representing the 43rd District in Lancaster County. I have the privilege of being here with uh, Agriculture Secretary Russell Redding. It's the um, it's 100th year, 100th anniversary, so it's great to be here. And uh, Russ, I was wondering, um, this is a huge event, and I've been here quite a few years. I remember being a young boy coming here. Um, talk to me a little bit about you know, you've been here, I think you grew up in Adams County, if I wasn't yeah. mistaken. Uh, give me an idea of what your favorite past uh, story is of the Farm Show. Well, first of all, w welcome to the Farm Show. Thanks for your, your work throughout the year. We have eight days here to talk about Farm Show, but your leadership throughout the year is really important to us, so thank you. Uh, very, very much appreciate that. You know, we really uh, have got a unique um, event in Pennsylvania called the Farm Show. When you look around, uh, you're reminded of it certainly in the 100th anniversary of the Farm Show, but when we have a chance to talk about ag and its importance to agriculture, both uh, in terms of jobs and food and all that, just a great event. You know, I've spent a lot of time in this Farm Show. The best moments are when you're in a show ring with kids showing market animals, right? You, you, you've got the, uh, the national anthem playing, you've got families on the side, you've got kids with animals, maybe for the first time, right? They're the great moments of the Farm Show. Yeah, and I can see that. I can definitely understand that. Um, how about this event itself? A hundred years. You know, I try to think back a hundred years to the people who started the first farm show, I believe, in downtown Harrisburg, and now it's grown to this. If I'm not mistaken, uh, 24 acres under roof. Can you tell me some of the highlights of the 100th? What we're kind of focusing on, maybe how this differs from the 90th or one a few years ago even. Maybe you can give, let the people know what some of the highlights of this farm show are, you know, this year. Yeah, so I appreciate you mentioning the uh, the farm show when it started in 1916, you know, it was scattered around Harrisburg. You can picture this downtown in 10 different buildings. Uh, and when you got off the train or your car, wherever you're coming in, you got a map and they would guide you around to different buildings to see the different displays. So 100 years on, you've got all of that under one roof, 23 acres under one uh, a big classroom here, right? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot of different things this, this year. We really put an emphasis on two things. One, okay. you, know, you really have to sort of capture 100 years, so you'll see these history walls throughout the complex that show you know, the key developments of, of ag, the technology, the markets, the demographic changes. Uh, you'll see also like where we are right now as a farm to shelf area. And it was intentional because we wanted to show uh, how does production agriculture, which we spent a lot of time thinking about how do you keep it sort of uh, competitive and, and profitable, sustainable. Uh, we do that, but how does that food then get to the, to the supermarket shelf? So this display takes us on four commodities uh, through that process. So production to consumption. I think that's I think that's very important today, and like I said, there's a lot of people walking around us right now. I think I think uh, I think it's just great. I think it's like I said, very educational. Um, living in the 43rd district, which is kind of uh, Eastern Lancaster County, uh, certainly a big Amish area, certainly a, a big area when it comes to um, chickens, and um, this state certainly is uh, we've does we've discussed this ourselves and uh, you and i as well as the other legislature uh, other members of the legislature concerning the avian flu and there's some other you know there's some other uh, pests and, and 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 things that are affecting the state that you know you, not necessarily in lancaster county but throughout can you give some uh, can you kind of give us an overview about what the department of agriculture is doing i guess i want to focus on the avian flu because lancaster yes. county would be ground zero in, in an incident like that. Of course, we had an incident back when I was a young boy with the avian flu in Lancaster County. Maybe you can maybe shed some light on what you, the department's doing there. Yeah, well, it, it's the one thing you will not see at this farm show is poultry. Uh, so there's been two frequently asked questions about this farm show. One is where's the poultry and what's the milkshake flavor, right? Uh, but it, it really is, is, uh, is a challenge for us, uh, given the year that we've had around the high path avian influenza, you know, 22 states that have had high path AI, not Pennsylvania, uh, we're very fortunate. Every day without high path AI is a good day for right. Pennsylvania. You're at the epicenter of uh, the high path AI and the poultry industry. Uh, we've worked hard in partnership with the legislature with resources, but also just general outreach and education, both at producers and consumer level. Very proud of that. As, as we sit here today in 2016, we have not had high path AI. If we can count our blessings, we don't. But we're on high alert 
because of the, uh, the real threat to the third largest poultry producing state in the country is in Pennsylvania, all of the jobs. So we put a lot of effort on it, partnership with the legislature, farmers, U.S. Department of Agriculture, so, uh, but more to do. Well, like I said, I, I think your leadership has been exemplary through this process. I know you've made yourself accessible to me and, and my other colleagues in Lancaster County, and I think it's uh, you know, I, a credit to you because we've been very fortunate. It's somewhat out of our control because it's airborne and you know, hope, you know, keep our fingers crossed and, and keep praying that, that, that we can avoid, uh, avoid that here in, in Lancaster County and, and statewide, we, you know, anywhere. We just that, don't want that's it to the occur. goal. You do not want it here. Uh, in recent conversations with the U.S. Department of Agriculture Secretary uh, Tom Vilsack, uh, he had briefed uh, some folks right uh, uh, around the first of the year, and, and, and he was still pretty, uh, he was optimistic, but he was very cautious because of the impact this has had in the mid, mid part of the country. So I'm hopeful we can keep it out of Pennsylvania, but appreciate the uh, really aggressive sort of outreach that you've done personally to bring producers in, industry in. Uh, as, as I have said many times, there is no substitute for direct producer engagement and biosecurity, and you've done that with your, your producers, so thank well, we you. Worked well, we worked very well together, and I think that's yeah. been great. On a lighter note, let's yes. talk about dairy. Yes. You mentioned milkshakes. Right. Something as a kid and growing up, you can't come here without having a milkshake. Talk, talk a little bit about, I guess we have a strawberry milkshake this year. Tell us a little bit about the fun and the involvement uh, concerning, because the milkshake lines are always kind of take a while to- They do to, take a while. To, to get through, but- yeah. uh, I, You know, when the uh, Pennsylvania Dairy Mills Association started to talk about sort of this farm show and our early planning, we had encouraged each of the commodities to think about some something new, right? It, refresh and, <clears throat> um, the, the dairyman came to us and said, we're thinking about a new flavor milkshake. Now keep in mind that they haven't added a new flavor of milkshake in 60 years. 60, 60 years, right? It's been vanilla and chocolate or some variant of that for 60 years. So all of this work, they had a contest, naming, I, I put my own sort of wishes into that, uh, into that bag. Uh, what you have today though is a strawberry cream introduced uh, at the farm show. A hot item again, so we'll we'll see how the total numbers uh, track. But uh, my own opinion, hard to beat a good chocolate milkshake. Well, it is funny. I was going to say I always go for the vanilla, and I have had a vanilla already. I have to try one of those strawberries. Yeah, right. But uh, hey, it's been a pleasure working with you. Pleasure you know, I know I know that we'll be continuing to work yeah. together, and hopefully, uh, like I said, we'll uh, no hopefully no avian flu, and uh, appreciate your leadership. Appreciate Thank your you good much. work. Look forward to, uh, to uh, working with you all year long. Sounds great. Yeah, Thank great you. to see you. Thank you.